Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel. Today we are going to make pork sinigang. It's a Filipino meal that I, it's comfort food for me. In the thermal pot cooker. What we like about this is that there is no plug. We heat up the food, we put it in here, and we wait anywhere from three, six, or eight hours, or whenever you're ready to eat it. Okay. These are the ingredients. Pork cut up. It could be just boneless pork, or pork ribs, or beef ribs, or just beef, or fish. I'm using two pounds today, spinach, Chinese long beans. If you are, if you cannot get Chinese long beans, substitute this for just regular green beans. Bok choy, which you can buy throughout the country, I do know that. And since I went to a Filipino market today, they have <laughs> the sinigang mix, which is the vegetables already there. But I like to add a little bit of extra the veggies that I like to use. And they also include a tamarind soup mix. This is by Noor, and you can buy this on the internet. Amazon carries it. And here's the other brand that I buy also. Same basic concept, tamarind soup mix. Also available in Amazon. Okay, follow along. This part is gonna be in the outtakes of me just chopping food. Now we sit back and just wait. Just leave it here in the counter. Again, no plugs. It's just a thermal boiling. Five minutes for the meat, and then five minutes for the vegetable, and then it, in it goes. So we're gonna wait six hours. 
since it's pork, six hours should be fine. It's 10 o'clock now, so that would be 30 by 4, not bad. So that would be a good commute time from tearing down Wanda, driving, then setting up Wanda, and then having dinner at the next RV park. All right, let's see how it tastes, More, most important, when the six hours is up. So we'll have dinner probably 4.35. It's been about seven hours since this thing, since I closed the lid on this. So what we need to do now is add the spinach. I bought the spinach at the Filipino store. Anytime that you buy produce that are white people, <laughs> Americans, like spinach, at an Asian market, it's going to be not the best looking. This has been, this is a little bit wilted already. So I really recommend that if you want to buy white vegetables, American vegetables, like celery, spinach, lettuce, all that stuff, buy it at a normal grocery store. Do not buy it at an Asian market. They're a little bit already wilted. Oh, I didn't expect that to happen. Okay, yeah, condensation. Okay, it is still very warm. So we're gonna add the spinach. Let that cook for about a minute. And then we'll be ready to eat it. In the meantime, we're gonna dish up the rice. And this is my favorite Filipino dish that Ariel makes. Okay, since we don't add salt to anything, you we use garlic salt a lot, so salt to taste and pepper to taste. And it does smell like sinigang. I added a little bit too much pepper <laughs> in the beginning. You have to cut back on the spices because it is brewing for several hours and the spices will commingle and blossom and bloom when you are cooking it for extended periods of time. So cut back on the pepper Tastes in the fun. initial cooking. Uh, it tastes good. Mm -hmm. The pork is cooked. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much. Bye. Okay, this comes with okra. The Chinese long beans. needs to be rinsed. All of this needs to be rinsed out. One pepper, mild. Onions, which we, oh, my family never used onions. Tomatoes, my family didn't use tomatoes. Eggplant, definitely one. 
daikon, which can be substituted for potatoes. You can, if you don't have daikon. And bok choy. Okay. And for me, this is not enough bok choy. And for me, this is not enough Chinese long beans. Cut up the okra in half inch, daikon, quarter slices, quarter slices. Eggplant cut in half and then slice to about Half inch. Chinese long beans, cut it to about an inch. This is the bok choy that came in the packet. Cut it about an inch. Including the greens. Same with the stock we bought at the store. Cut it to about an inch.
Okay, for the pepper, most people like it like to add it whole. However, I don't. I like it a little bit spicy, so I cut it. Just like that. For the spinach, this is added last. After you're done cooking, just throw it in, wait a minute, and it's cooked. You are going to need lemon juice also and ground pepper and patis. Patis is fish sauce. These we can put away. 